good morning. Uh, let's see. Let me go to full video here. Um, okay, let's let's break this down as easy as we can. All right. We know, for instance, right now we've got these. Uh, the theater owners will provide three hundred thousand tickets if the price is seventy-five. So we know that 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 point they'll willingly supply. All right, let me see if I can find another pen here. This one seems to be running a little low. Uh, no. We'll use green. Hopefully the green will show up. Um, and if the price drops to 50, they'll only provide 100,000. So if we connect the dots, that is what the supply curve looks like. Now we know at a price of 75, consumers will buy 150. Okay, this black pen is driving me nuts again. All right. They'll buy 150, and if the price were to drop to 50, they get an additional 75,000 or 225,000. So we know here, all right, at this particular price, the quantity demanded is 150, and the quantity supplied is 300. There's a surplus, okay? There are a lot of empty seats, okay? And at a price of 75, I'm sorry, at a price of 50, the quantity demanded is 225. This becomes our demand curve. All right. The quantity supplied is 100. There's a shortage. There's 125 people outside the theater clamoring to get in, and they can't because there just aren't any seats. Okay. So this is our demand curve. This is our supply curve. Now, we're looking for the slopes, right? Well, we know that when we change the price from 75 to 50, delta P equals minus 25. All right. The change in the quantity supplied, it drops from 300 to 150. I'm sorry, from 300 to 100. So that's minus 200. The slope is simply the ratio, which equals minus or which equals plus one eighth. It's positively sloped. Every dollar increase in the price will increase the number of seats by eight. Okay. Now we can do the same thing with demand. Okay. I'm just going to erase this piece here, get rid of this, delta QD. is plus 75. So the slope is minus one third. Okay. And we can see that equilibrium is going to take place in somewhere around 191 with some price in the 60s. I'll let you solve for that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I also have this. Uh, let me get rid of the video for a sec. Let me come to the board here. All right. Here are the calculations. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. And here's a picture I did in Excel. Um, you should be able to do this by hand. If you can do it in Excel, great. I strongly recommend or advise that if you can get comfortable with Excel, you can take advantage of the graphics capabilities. And it's all very, very wonderful. Okay. Uh, I hope this helps, and if you ever need any help with economics, please don't hesitate to call. People say that my middle name is economics. I've been living it and breathing it for many, many years. Anyway, have a great day, and if you're up north like me, stay warm. Bye-bye.